What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, we are going to play some standard for the first time in a long time. And uh, we're going to try some mono black because, as you may have remembered from our set review, Rob and I thought mono black was pretty sweet. And it had a lot of cool tools. So we're going to find out if that's correct or not. Uh, the list I threw together today, with the help of Rob, is we got two Black Suns Twilight. It's removal and it gets back things like Frixian Obliterator or Shouldred, which is super nice. Uh, if we're feeling really spicy, we can get back a Frexian Flesh Gorger. Uh, we have two Go for the Throat, two Shouldred's Edict. It's probably one of the more effective Planeswalker removals in the format currently without like, you know, considering things like Hero's Downfall. Uh, Tenacious Underdog times three, just the guy to play early, stall the ground, and then provide some card advantage and effective beats later in the game. Four Graveyard Trespassers. Uh, the ward is very good, plus the ability to exile things from the graveyard, because it seems like there's some, some reanimation shenanigans happening in the format, so it's nice to be able to remove those things. Uh, Frex three Phyrexian Arena. Four seems like too many, but three seems pretty good. One soul transfer, uh, just had a flexible slot, and I wanted to have a better answer for Planeswalkers. Three Shieldred and two Obliterators are probably the main uh, threats in the deck, we'll say. Then we have one Gix's Command. No, two Gix's Commands. Uh, Rob says this is one of the best cards in the format, and I didn't think about it until I saw Destroy Each Creature, creature with Power 2 or Less. That actually doesn't hit any of our creatures, which is really nice. Um, you know, you could also put two counters on a creature and give it lifelink. So making your obliterator a 7-7 seven, seven with lifelink to kind of offset some of the Phyrexian Arena life loss is, is nice. Um, then you also get uh, return two creature cards from your graveyard to your hand, so draw two. Or they sack a creature with the highest power. So you can actually say destroy all small creatures and then make them sack their biggest creature. And that's probably going to be very close to a board wipe at that point. Invoke Despair is a card that I see in every blacklist, and I'm personally like not sure about it. I, I know I'm incorrect. I know it's great because everyone swears by it and everyone thinks it's a great card. I guess in my head, target opponent sacrifices a creature. Okay, that's probably going to happen 95% of the time. And then we have... Repeat this process for an enchantment and a planeswalker. I think those are less likely to happen. So I think the most common mode for this card is they sack a creature, you draw two, and they lose four for five mana. I guess that's good. I mean, the alternative is they sack a creature and a planeswalker, you get you draw a card, and they lose two. I mean, I don't know. That seems that seems good. I guess I just don't like five mana is just a lot. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm being silly, but I guess like you're also not choosing, right? So like if they have six tokens, no enchantment, and a, no planeswalker, are you selfish for wanting more cube? No, sir. I also want more cube. Anyway, we'll see how it does. Then we have two Vraska betrayals sting. I, I we we thought this card was good. Uh, zero is actually a plus one. So you draw a card, lose a life, same as Frexian Arena. Negative two just gets rid of creatures, and you can do it three times before before she dies. And negative nine probably doesn't really matter. Uh, we also have three Flesh Gorgers because this is one of my this is one of the cards I liked the most from uh, Brothers War. I, I think this card is super sweet, and also it's a great way if you play it on three. It's a great way to mitigate some of the life loss you might feel from like Frexian Arena or from Blitzing, Tenacious Underdog, things like that. Also lets you play Vraska on, on five with uh, Proliferate. Also the Phyrexian Arena Shield Red combo is super nice where you draw a card, but then you gain two and take one, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and then we just have 23 Swamps and two Takanuma. Additionally, we have three Duress in the sideboard, three Parasitic Grasp to deal three damage, uh, one more Gix's Command, two Cutdowns, uh, one more go for the throat. Three Zenith Chronicler from uh, All Will Be One. Whenever a player casts their first multicolor spell each turn, each other player may draw a card. 
one more soul transfer and one toxril the corrosive for the matches we might want it in so that's the list we're gonna see uh we're gonna see if it does anything i have no idea if it will uh let's go to events let's go to constructed should we just try a traditional standard event? Let's do it. What do you have to do to break even here? Four wins? Three wins comes close. Four wins breaks. That's a lot of wins. All right. I will choose standard black control. Yeah, sure. All right. Let's see. We're just throwing it in there. Rob, you ready? Illusions donate GG is raw. Can you put my face on the little blue guy? <laughs> oh, do you mean Mickelthip? Is is it Mickle Mickelthid? I think. Like my camera. Oh, I mean, yes, I could, but I'd have to find a way to like green screen you as an image. You know what I mean, like. This is not Fibblethip. This is Micklethid. They are two different homunculi. And now we just have to cross our fingers that this event fires. I'm an idiot. I don't know what you mean. So the reason, like, there's no background behind me is because I'm chroma keyed. Right? Um, except it's not chroma, it's not chroma keying, it's just the natural NVIDIA background removal. If I take it out. Then you can just see everything. You can see the whole my whole little office here. So then you throw it back up. Two eight zero four three three. I don't know what that means. Eight six seven five three oh nine. Eight yeah okay. I like that me and Rob made the same eight six seven five three oh nine joke. Holy Jesus! Sorry, typed it too. <laughs> Actor authentication into the wrong spot. Okay, that's hilarious. That's fucking hilarious. I'm not gonna keep this. I will mulligan. This is a keeper though. I got a two, a three, and two fours. Really like these lands, and I wish they were not as expensive as they are. Uh, we'll ship one of the fours. I'm gonna ship the shield red, and it's because I want to play Phyrexian Obliterator. I like that they're like, you have things to do, so we're not going to automatically uh, advance because you might want to play Black Sun's Twilight for Zero. You know, and to be fair, they don't know. Looks close, but Maul, yeah, it's it was real touch and go. I also love the Art Deco lands from Nuka Penna. Uh, let's go 3-3. Three, three. So next turn we can actually Black Sun's Twilight their Gix, which is kind of cool. I wonder if one Gix is decent in here. All right, what does this guy do? Target is plus one in haste? Sure, that's fine. I will 100% trade with your Gix. All Gucci. Big Blitz. Tramway Station. Fascinating. Sure. We're just going to double up here. That's sad because we have Black Sun's Twilight, but... I think that's fine. Oh, what up, Squizzle? <laughs> okay. All right. Jesus, God. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Sometimes you just double obliterator them, you know? Um. 
what did we see? We saw we saw Gix. We saw Hidetsugu's second right. Is that what it's called? I think that's it, really. Cut down doesn't hit Gix though. It doesn't hit that. It says hits that two three. It doesn't hit hit Sugu. I, I think go for the third's probably correct, but I'm suspicious about. I would actually bring Parasitic Graspin instead of Cut Down, right? Is this a, is this a deck? I don't even know if this is a legitimate deck that they're playing, or if it's just like a. I mean, we'll we'll see. We can we can get more information and then. Sideboard accordingly. Chlorophyll. Oh yes, the view battlefield button would have been super helpful. Sometimes I forget that's a thing. Are you playing a legitimate deck? No. But I'm not saying like, I'm not saying you have to, you know, I'm just saying like, I'm just curious if it is. Boomer. Oh, that was a good, that was a good hit. Good Lord. So now we got three and then four and then five. What a, what a, what a massacre this is gonna be. They took two. Unbelievable. They're dead. Oh, what up, Jix? Yep, choose this one. Sounds good. Oh, man. Rob, you were right about this card. It's a two for one every time. Oh, Phyrexian Dragon Engine in the yard. I'm tempted to just play another one just now because we can get rid of their Dragon Engine. That's fascinating. Although I don't think they're going to play Dragon Engine. I'm just going to play this guy because next turn we can class Invoke or Grave Graveyard and Shieldred's Edict. I mean, I assume they just like loaded up on removal. That's what I'm going to assume. But now let's see what this let's see what this card's all about. All right, that was pretty good, I guess. This guy got haste at the beginning of the turn. Yeah, so he just attacks for three here. Sure. Uh, the Cruise of Tower, two words. We can hold on to that. Uh, let's get rid of the Dragon Engine, because that actually does something. And then we can just keep up Shieldred's Edict. Are they get a two for one again? Jeez. I will resolve the ward. Three just three damage to a creature. Sounds good. What is this? Discard your hand, draw three? Sure. I guess that's their plan. I don't know if it's better to toss the Tenacious Underdog out or to keep up Edict. Probably to keep up Edict here. Yep. I mean, they're still, they're only drawing one card here because they have two cards in their hand. So, I guess that's fine. Oh, I should have. Oh, God, I'm so stupid. What did they toss out? Another Storm Seeker and a cut down. Yeah, that was bad. I mean, I guess it's fine. Like, we just take the five here. Go to seven. Oh, double strike. Yes, that's true. That's a thing. All right. 
So we have six mana. Do we just get back two creatures? That seems pretty good. They don't have anything else in the graveyard that we care about. Robbie with 3 2 and Edict, huh? Alright. I'll trust. I'll trust Robert. He knows what he's doing. Okay. Swamp is good. Destroy a creature. Sounds good. Sakura is a non token creature. Correct. What does that guy do on his butt? Plus two trample and haste. Sounds good. Seven, eight mana. <laughs> so we can play this for five. Uh, it doesn't really do it. Doesn't really do anything. Uh, getting two guys back. I mean, it's it's nice to be able to get back like a graveyard, and then play it. I think we. I feel okay, kind of going to three here. That was actually great for us because now we get to draw a card. Oh <laughs> boy! Oh, that's a scary one. Okay. Um, I don't think we're gonna play that right now. We're dead to Stormseeker, but they have two in the graveyard, so I'm not super concerned with that. Oh, that's really good. Um, wow, that was pretty solid. And that's also pretty good. All right. If this guy survives, we are in... Oh my god, dude. Do we have enough mana? Seven, eight, do we have nine mana? Can we go underdog, put ourselves to one, and then Gix's command it? Cool. Definitely bringing in Parasitic or Grasp. We'll cut one Arena. Uh, one Vraska, probably. Dude, they had one draw. <laughs> Before we get to gain, like, seven life. Oh, God. How infuriating. Actually, Zenith Chronicler might be decent. Do they have gold cards? I don't think we saw any gold cards. Hidetsugu's second right was probably it. Hmm. I'll take out both Vraskas. I'll take out one more Arena. I just think we're kind of... I'll bring in two duress. But I almost think like Parasite Grass might be better than everything else. Also, they do have humans, I think. Like the um the the reckless guy is is a human, right? Seeker is a human, yeah, that's the one. Um okay, well. Can't keep that. Can keep that. Okay. We're on the draw. Oh, we're on the play. Did they put us on the play? No, we lost, so we put ourselves on the play. That's how magic works. It's unfortunate not having a target for this, but... What are you going to do? If 
they want a two for one themselves, I am okay with it. Wow, two they they two for one themselves and they took a point. Not bad. I mean I guess if you're discarding Phyrexian Dragon Engine, that's not the worst. Oh boy. That's see, that's obnoxious. Maybe this does something because they only have one red. I doubt it. I'm feeling a little behind right now, unfortunately. Ideally, we just draw land and play Invoke, and then we get rid of both their guys. Fingers crossed, I guess. Yep, never fails. There it is. That was nice. That's what father likes. Okay. I mean, discarding two to draw three, meh. It basically, you just draw one, but I mean, they got rid of two lands, I guess, so that's something. Tramway station, huh? Oh, that's interesting. Well, that's gonna kill everything, holy smokes. Oh yeah, that guy's dead. Twilight is an instant. I'm almost tempted to blitz this guy. I don't think that's good, though. You would blitz? Alright, I'll blitz. I'll trust you. I mean, we're at 12 after the blitz so and we still get to keep up go for the throat and shield or edict and now we get to draw a card too beautiful Each opponent sacrifices a non-token creature. It's your boy, Jimmy Blitz. Oh yeah, that's the ticket. That's the lady. We're going to win our first game. That's cool. Play shielded pass. <laughs> oh, okay. Scoop City. I mean, it's nice because with Obliterator, they can't block. Or else they lose two and they still die to trample. That guy has trample, right? I think he does. Who knows? Uh, yeah, this is a snap keep. Hey, look, he has trample. For those curious. Oh, it's all Xander's Lounge. Yeah, okay. I'm 
I don't even know what this is. What is this? What is this? What am I looking at? Are you going to add any of this set to your queue? I mean, probably. I mean, I'm sure there's like 15 cards that I want to add. I think this set is very strong. Grixis, now we're talking. Are we talking? God, they got—they already got Black Cleave Cliffs and Dark Slick Shores in here. I assume you're going to make a 1-1. One, one. Draw a card? Are you drawing a card? 1-1. One, one. Sounds good. Um, I kind of just want to kill the 2-1 here. Because I don't want to fall too far behind. You had Arena here? Like, we're taking 4 and going to 13. Interesting. I was just going to play Because we have so much stuff to do. I just want to get a body down. Yeah, body down. That's right. Oh, they just drew a card. They didn't even bounce my guy. Can I block this guy? Does he have reach? No? So how does it how does it switch? Whenever I have to have... What is the... What is the... Where does... Can I... How do you know? Uh, if a player casts no spells, it becomes knight. I'm not going to do that. So... Um, you know what? We're going to obliterate here. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. All right, we're at 10. Let's do it again. They have five cards in hand. That's a lot. That's a good one. Uh, why is it asking me to draw? Oh, because shielded will trigger, I guess? Interesting. So I go to five if I play this. But then we can kill their Vrast, their Shieldred, which is probably what we want to do. She starts with four, she goes to two, and she still survives an attack. We could also invoke, but then they're just going to sacrifice the token. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. I'm pretty sure that's going to that's be the end. Unbelievable. Uh, is this a duress matchup? What did we see? We saw make disappear and invoke. Take out the edicts for the go for the throat. Bring in a duress. Uh, probably bring in a soul transfer just because it, it kills their shieldred. Command also seems really good here. You like duress here? Fable invoke removal. Oh, I see what you're saying. Rob, sometimes you leave out punctuation and it's really hard to figure out what you're trying to say. I was like, Fable invoke? What is that? Is that a card? Like you said something earlier. Um, you said.
You said tribute doesn't fit the deck well, although I love the card. You do not need bank buster. So I wasn't sure if it, the sentence is tribute doesn't fit the deck well, although I love the card. Or if you're saying, although I love the card, you do not need bank buster. I wasn't sure if although I love the card was attached to the tribute sentence or the bank buster sentence. <laughs> and I was like, wait, what is he saying here? <laughs> where does the where does the period go? See, this is why punctuation is so important. That's part of the allure of my friendship. Yeah, I agree. I'm always like, man, I can't wait to talk to Rob and be just super confused about what that dude is trying to say. Oh, interesting. Well, let's attack first and see what they want to do. They're at 10. I can play Shield Red or I can Duress them. Duress them feels better. You're drawing first. Liliana... Blue Sun's Twilight. Fascinating. And then a shit ton of lands. This card is with man value X or less. So they could play a land, gain control of Tenacious Underdog. I feel like it's Twilight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Twilight. Like, if they want to use their turn to Liliana and get rid of my underdog, that's fine. Oh, they didn't want to do that. Fascinating. Huh. So I can make them sacrifice four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can put them to one. Or I can play Shieldred. I don't like Shieldred here because then they just block one of our guys, right? That doesn't seem great. So, yeah, I think we're just going to go put two counters and they sack a creature. I want to put the counters on here because if they Liliana, we're just going to sack this guy anyway. And it doesn't matter. So that's cool. So we're having a good time. Oh yeah, snap, snap it off, man. Threats, who needs them? We got them. I don't actually know if I should duress here. I think I duress on like two, so that third turn, th <laughs> but if they play a guy, I guess I wanna kill it, so whatever. Oh. Um, huh. yeah, let's take the bank buster here. So we know they have a bunch of junk. I will also pass.
Oh, wow. Interesting. Seems good. I will also invoke. I mean, we're definitely playing Tenacious and either Obliterator or Shieldred. crossing our fingers they don't have an answer for shieldred but they have five cards which is a lot yep that's good no blocks hmm fascinating Big blitz and check it and see. Sounds good. Invoke one time. Wow, that was wild. I feel like they're way ahead right now, unfortunately. Still have three cards in hand. Yeah, I mean, we can eat a Shieldred. I don't love it, but... It's an easy life, you know what I'm saying? We can only attack with one four four. Cool. Well, that's no good. So we're at two, huh? It's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I think we're dead. <laughs> uh, yeah. That'll do, pig. That's unfortunate. All 
All right. One one. What do I feel like they're mi we're missing? Do we need more removal, perhaps? Uh, keep. So, in theory, if we have nothing else next turn... I didn't know you streamed? I don't know how you could know that I'm a magic player without knowing I stream. Oh no, they're gonna counter this? Oh, that's really unfortunate. Jeez. The first Phyrexian arena that we get to we get to play here. Well, that guy's annoying, there but secrets, I don't know. It's probably I got fine. On the inside who can help. I think we just kill it. Oh, we can't because he's got he's got phase. He's phased. Dude, the the one thing I dislike about standard is that like you print these cool creatures. No oh, that's really good. You print these cool creatures like Phyrexian Obliterator, but then, like, everything dies. Okay, Invoke's really good. I enjoy it a lot. Five mana, huh? I mean, I guess it's just Shield right here. It's not a phase, Mom. I had another land. That would be wonderful. Um, as it stands, we're probably just going to kill Teferi here. Now what? Yeah, that's the problem. Like, unless your creature does something, the turn it comes into play, like, this might as well just say 5-5 five, five, Trample Unblockable, which is why the next deck we're going to brew is with green, and we're going to include some sort of fight mechanism. Okay, anything here that I care about? No, I'll just take the Kaito. I actually don't even want to play two, just because, like, if they if they have another depopulate or something, like, I don't want to get wiped to oblivion. Yep, that'll help. Oh, I didn't, I didn't actually, I forgot that I could eat two cards. That's my bad. Because I didn't realize, like, I'm not, I'm actually not used to this new day-night mechanic. Oh, good. See, now I'm wishing I just played the other Graveyard Trespasser. Sure, you got it. Seven, huh? I, one thing I don't like is that Gix's Command can't do anything against Planeswalkers, but I guess, like... You know, what do you expect? Uh, depopulate. Flashback card. Wonderful. Yeah, tracking day-night when there's no creatures sounds absolutely miserable. Because then it's going to be relevant once you play a day-night creature. So it's like, oh no, what was it? Day or night? The mana seems really good in standard. We can improve upon your ideas. Am 
Well, we get to get to kill Jace here, which is kind of cool. Well, on the turn. You got it. Now it's now it's night time. Okay, my turn. Sure. Oh, this is a this is a wild scenario. We're destroying all our removal. We're basically just paying four every turn to draw a card, deal them three, and take two. I guess that's good against control decks. Icar Moon Gauntlet, huh? I'm really glad this is just looting and not uh, netting them cards. So fairly obnoxious. Okay, take out Jace, take out Depopulate, I guess. I guess we can Gix's command soon. This is six, seven, eight mana. I'd rather have nine so we can play a card the same turn. Oh, I guess we can still do that with, uh, with getting back Graveyard Trespasser. So once we, we'll just next turn we'll Gix's command. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, like we can get back Shieldred and Phyrexian Obliterate maybe. This is wild, man. Yep, you got it. This Acre Moor Gauntlet's Acre Moon Gauntlet's not not doing much. It seems like. <laughs> Where are all your planeswalkers in your planeswalker deck? Here's oh, that's not that's not one at all. And they're tapped out, so that's pretty good. Um, Are we just getting two back? Oh god. We could also invoke, deal them six, and play this guy. That seems better here, right? Eight, nine, this is five, six, seven, eight, nine. pitch a land we're at 11 they're at 12 I'm surprised but I guess like gaining 6 life off of the Celestis is not nothing you got it flip it up Fascinating. Resolve. 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 Is it exile? Damn. You got it. Let's do four. We'll just play a tenacious doggy boy. 
Can you edict yourself? Uh, no. Do we want to? Oh, just to sack their own, our own underdog? Eh. I mean, with the second underdog, I don't really feel like it's super relevant. They also have one card in hand. Sure. Ever feel like you were too old and cranky to keep? Yes, yes. I, I felt this way for the past two years, actually. But the past couple sets, Brothers War and Phyrexia All Will Be One, uh, looked very fun. So I was actually quite interested in diving in and checking them out. This is nice because it taps them out, even though it does give them two cards. So seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 11 mana. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I wish we had, I wish we had 12 because then we can play this, this, and get back a graveyard boy. Oh, Liliana. Fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, are the triggers on this? Liliana has not resolved yet. Okay. Those who get in my way tend to regret it. Each opponent sacks a planeswalker. Where is your planeswalker now? I actually think we do this. And then do this jobby. Uh, return up to two creatures, put counters. Uh, we'll get back Shieldred and Graveyard. That's helpful. If magic was uh, like Hearthstone, this would just be a 5 4 forever. I mean, we're winning on cards, right? We have 24 left in deck. They probably have fewer cards. They have 21, but. Ba -doom, ba -doom, doom. Hmm. Let's see, get rid of Le Liliana, Liliana, Lily, and probably Farewell. Uh, let's play Shieldy. Oh, I shouldn't have done. Actually, even if we don't attack with this, it's tapped creature, right? Fascinating. I'm gonna say no attacks. I'm just gonna pay two to draw draw a card here, basically. They're gonna play this. You started this fight. But I'm going to. We must protect the yeah. people. And then we gain two from the so it's like it's it's just a free card. Oh yeah, draw those cards. Fantastic. If they have a depop, they, they have to play it, right? Oh, that's good too. Pyrexian life will rise from your corpses. Yep, I had a feeling. So we could actually crack this, play Gix's command. Kill both your samurai. Let your blade do hmm. the talk. Not bad. Okay, they're tapped out. That's actually really good for us. Okay. Can we win here? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, we can put them to one. That's hilarious. All right, well, Sagar for a black. Gix's command, destroy each creature's power two or less and return two creatures from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. 
Get shield red. And graver, graverino, I guess. Might have been just two shielders, to be honest. Yeah, we. I. I. It's. It's. Next to combat. Uh, kill both of these. here. Oh, you're right. Eating the creatures in our own graveyard causes life loss. Uh, you're right. That is correct. Yep, that was a that was a mistake on my part. Obviously, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna kill this before we draw, so I just don't take two here. Yeah, okay. So this is seven, which is not enough. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine again. Not gonna do it. Ten, eleven. Like we're like we're one shy every time. Uh, view graveyard. How many creatures do we even have? I don't even know if we have enough. Looks like we do. Uh, I can get rid of this guy and this guy. There has to be another way. I don't think we play this. Maybe we do. Sure, why not? I don't know if I have enough creatures is the problem. Uh, we got a shield red and we got a graveyard. Yep, all right. So there are four. I mean, they kind of need, like, depopulate here. Does that do anything? I guess it draws them a card. The duel doesn't mean we have to be overly serious. Okay. Lighten up. Oh, that's... That was nice. Go for the throat. Pretty bad. Um, duress. Clearly MVP. Black Sun's Twilight. Probably not necessary. Soul Transfer is... Great against all their planeswalkers. Cast our first multicolor spell each turn. What did we see? Kaya, Kaito. That was pretty much it. Kaya and Kaito. And Teferi, I guess. So three multicolor spells. Shoulders Edicts also did some work there. Um, anything else that's just not good Gix's command was nice to just get back guys Underdog was very very good uh, I commend you for having having suggested him Um, yeah I'd like to try Zenith Chronicler but I don't think it's better than anything we have in here maybe it's better than Vraska it might be. It's just another body that could draw us cards, and Vraska just kind of looks like... It's just, she just kills creatures, so, like, unless we're using her to just draw cards, which we shouldn't need to, because then the the Zenith Chronicler guy does the same thing. Zenith Chronicler? Is that what his name is? We 
Ding, 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 ding. Did our opponent give up? Oh, I like this. Actually, I wish one of these was a Phyrexian Arena, but... Oh, okay. Let's... <laughs> Arena crashed again, like you do. Uh, memory... We'll just take the... I think the Wandering Emperor is probably the best card here. This guy could just get in there for three a bunch of times, too, so... Like, we can kill their Trespasser here, and then also... Yeah, this seems pretty good. Oh, we have to... Um, Actually, let's just attack first. Yeah, that seems fine. Oh, yeah, they changed their mind. I, I would have also changed my mind if I were them. If we can hit lands, I think we're in pretty good shape here. Okay, well, we did not hit lands. That's unfortunate. I wonder if we should have soul transferred. Shield or eh? Fascinating. See, that I'll probably kill. Really need a land here. Not gonna give it to me though, huh? I mean, I think they just play Vraska here and kill our Phyrexian. Oh, interesting. Fascinating. Oh, wow, that's great. That's great. What is the word on this guy? You go to, yeah, sure, that's fine. Gorger's doing the, doing the work here against the deck that has no creatures. Oh no, they got me. They drew another Wandering Emperor. Wow, that's really not... It's good. It's not great, though, because we don't have the mana for it. Can you imagine if we had the mana for this? They sack both of these guys. They take two. We attack them for three. We draw a card. They go to one. Boy, that would have been good. I mean, they're going to have to Vraska here and kill this, I think. Which means they go to four, we get a treasure, and we get to invoke despair. Which actually might kill them. That would be sick if that's what happens. Oh, it's going to happen. Oh, we're doing it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's game. Oh my god, this is insane. They gave us the mana, but we didn't even need it. What is that? Hold on, what is this? That's weird, because this is not how Shieldred looked when she became a token. Okay, Rob, I, uh... I, I don't know why I doubt it invoke. It's actually a fucking banana card. Why? Why give someone... Why give this out? Here's a psychic pickpocket. Why even... No one's playing this. It's not a constructed playable card. It's not a hard card to acquire. What's the point? I don't get it. Just give me more gold or 
gems or something. I don't get it. Maybe I'm stupid. Do you think I'm stupid, Wizards of the Coast? Do you think I'm stupid? Son of a bitch. Like, what's the point of it? I don't get it. Are people like, yes, now I have the... Like, it's obvious with Arena's economy and how like almost predatory and expensive it is that this isn't for casual players. People aren't like, I'm going to put together my uncommon streets of new Capenna deck and play with all these obscure. No one's playing with that card. No one's putting it into their deck. That card is literally unplayable. It doesn't make sense. I just don't get it. Like, I don't know who's making the decisions. Like what if instead they were like, the um, the promo pack cards. Wouldn't that be cooler? Oh yeah, give it to me. Oh yeah, swift me. Idiots are making the decision. Fair. Shoulders edict being instant is so so satisfying. Come on, Swifty. Can't block. Whenever it's dealt down, Jack saw that many cards. I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill the Felden. Oh, a little felly. I, I like that we're, we're not having a ton of mana issues, which is kind of nice. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> I'm gonna straight up murder that dude. Here comes a squee, you ready? Oh, a ku Kumano faces the, 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 the music. Kumano faces Kakazan. Okay, deals one damage to each opponent, each planeswalker they control. Sure. When you cast your next creature spell this turn, the creature is about to Sure. Exile the saga and it becomes a 2 2 haste. I don't care about any of that. Kumano faces Kazakhstan. Oh man. I should have Black Suns this, but I was afraid they might play something in response, I guess. I mean, maybe we just wait so that we can Gixes. Gixism. Oh, wow, that's a dude. When you cast an extra energy, an additional plus one, plus one counter. I like when it says an additional plus one, plus one counter. Like, it's like doesn't that imply that there's a plus one, plus one counter? Like, hey, if I gave someone an additional sandwich, wouldn't that imply they already had a sandwich? Like, when you say additional, it implies in addition to the one they already have. It's a weird, it's a weird English choice. Uh, sure, you got that. You got that. Uh, pass. Pass. Take it. This guy can't block whenever he's dealt damage. Exile, sure. Yeah, I don't care about that. That don't impress me much. So this guy's got... So if I cast her for five, I exile this guy. She goes to four. And then... Kuzakstan comes back. I don't care about that. I don't want to play this. Ugh, God, I don't want to do any of these things. Maybe I'll just gain a life? <sighs> Target Dick runs a treasure. So she's at four, she goes to two, she would just die. Honestly, I don't feel like I do anything here. I can just keep up Black Sun's Twilight. 
and kill something. Or I can just keep up Gix's command and kill everything next turn. If a creature dealt damage this turn by a source you control would die, exile instead. Why does it say this turn? I don't. I don't get it because it's like. Thank you. How are we doing on HelloFresh? Well, HelloFresh expired eight days ago, so pretty good. <laughs> it's, it's been a while. Oh, interesting. Uh, sure, that's that's a thing, isn't it? This little candle is gonna set your world on fire. Let's bring things up to a simmer. Oh wow, you're really you're really just going balls to the wall here. So. I'm almost tempted to play Black Sun's Twilight because if I draw Invoke, I want to be able to wipe their board. Uh, one, two, three, four, pay, kill Felden, auto pay, sure. Okay, it's not Invoke. But I do kind of like being able to kill this Chandra. Yeah, all right. So as long as we don't take four here, you know. I think we have a lot of good sideboard cards for this matchup. Yeah, like if a creature does damage by a source you control would die, exile and set. Like this turn is like, it's referencing every turn that exists, right? Shieldred, Trespasser, I, I don't know. Uh, even Flesh Gorger would be good. I hear that guy has lifelink. So is that three, four, five, six? That's 10 cards that we have in our deck that we have not seen. That's not it either. Uh, Dunzo. <laughs> I don't know why this sad Pepe face is so... Life Lincoln Menace. Sad. They have two cards. Are we dead? Nobody knows. Gaze into my eyes. Gaze into my eyes. Look at me. I am the captain now. Okay, go to one. You got me. You got. You got to deal me two dam. You got to be dealing one damage. Oh, you you didn't do it. In time, we always win. All right, come on. Oh, God. Now we're just racing the clock here. When when you spell you control this damage, transform it. Well, if that's the case... Oh, yes! Uh, What is it? We don't have any creatures, right? I just want to make sure I'm not going to... Yeah, okay, so it's definitely just... Uh, each one sacrifices a creature. Uh, this guy's not one. I don't know, this feels good. Is this good? This feels good. Is this good? Pretty, 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 pretty good. Just gonna keep playing lands. So, can you get rid of my Phyrexian Obliterator in the mono red deck? I don't think you can. That didn't do it. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, Obliterator, bro. Okay, let's get rid of... I think Vraska's pretty poop. I actually don't love Vraska in a lot of these matchups, interestingly. We're going to bring another... Grasp. Uh, 
Take out the arenas, unfortunately. I do not think this is an arena matchup. <laughs> Cut down seems fantastic here. Uh, Edict. Edict actually seems good. It gets rid of Planeswalkers. Uh, yes, I agree on go for the throat. Toxrill is a little expensive, unfortunately. I need one more cut. Uh, what's the cut here? It might just be Invoke. Uh, Invoke's really good. Like, I appreciate the lifelink and the ability to destroy all the two creatures because they have a ton. Really? Soul Transfer for Invoke? I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll trust you. Rob, you know what you're saying. You seem like a smart guy. Uh, the, the lifelink on the command and being able to wipe their board of all the two power creatures seems extremely relevant. Uh, this seems like a snap keep. This into this into this. Or this even. Like, just exiling creatures and gaining life. Yep. Lands. Lands aplenty. She's good. What is it? Whenever you... Oh, it's a... Yeah, it just gives the counter. Sure. I'm not sure how this deck deals with Obliterator, to be honest with you. Sure. It doesn't. Fair. Fair. Twilight's mana inefficient, but it's still removal, and like, in order to kill their, like, it's three mana to kill one of their tutus. Is it this guy or is it this guy? Yeah, I think it is actually Trespasser here. Because, like, in order to kill this, they have to have a three damage spell and discard another card, which is their whole hand. So, that seems good. Yeah, uh, considering we're going to go Phyrexian Obliterator or Shield Red or Flesh Gorger. Oh, also Shield Red was another option for, for life gain. I don't know if we mentioned that. I think we did. I think we said three Shield Red, three Trespasser. No, three Flesh Gorger and four Trespasser. Yeah, that guy's obnoxious, but... He doesn't get flying, and that's really the important part. Oh, that's fascinating. We can't cast it, but it's fascinating. Is this just shielded here, or is it obliterator? I think it's shielded. It's 4-4 four, four versus 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, okay. I mean, I was hoping that, like, when this comes back around, we gain two, you know, or whatever, but. <laughs> Are they just staring down an obliterator? Yeah, let me, show me your, show me your egg. How do they attack into this? Your guess is as good as mine. Yeah, go for the face. Who 
Who's getting it? Who's getting the buff? That's not exactly what we want here. Now it's shouldered, right? So what is this? Uh, I don't use our sorcerer spell. There's seven or more egg counters? Holy shit. <laughs> what? I mean, being able to gain two next turn is pretty nice. Hmm. Gaining four more from invoke is also nice if we hit a land, so... They have one card. I think this game's over. Legendary? Oh, darn. Choose the wish to keep. I'll keep this one. Ain't nobody got time for seven egg counters. You're correct. <laughs> In this economy, man? You ain't getting, you ain't getting seven eggs. What, are you crazy? Oh, one of those was an enchantment creature. I mean, do we just attack now? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen? Yes, because they actually have to block. Uh, what do we got in our graveyard? Nothing? So this is their moment. If they can deal us 12 here, then they get it. We shouldn't have attacked with this guy. I just forgot it was a 4-4 versus a 4-5. That was a mistake on my part, but I'm also trying to give them a chance. You know, I'm trying to be sporting. So this is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And they have no cards in hand. So, if I'm not crazy, we go to two. And then they die. Uh -huh. They block here, they take five. They block here, they take four. Just combat, I guess? Okay, they're not even, I'm just trying to figure it out, but, you know, I appreciate you. Appreciate you knowing when you're when your time's up. So we're 3-1 right now. Oh, let me see what it is. Viral spawning. Beautiful. I'm going to bed. You're not even going to see us. See if we win the last round. Come on, Robert. One more round with our creation. This is our... This is our... Cre oh, God. He's not even changing his mind. Can you watch it in the bed with headphones next to Astrid? <laughs> they knew if you were thinking that you would figure it out and they were dead. Yeah, that makes sense. I appreciate them knowing that. I'll stay. Oh, yes. Exciting. See, this is nice. Two, three, four. Beautiful. This is what's known as a, a keeper. I don't... Phyrexian Arena might be like a two of, man. Take out one Arena, one Vraska. It's five matches. Yeah, so this is the last one. Something amazing just happened in my draft. Playing black white super low curve toxic deck, I managed to beat a turn five Tyran Tyran is it Tyranex or Tyranex Rex? Had a death touch one one and had corrupted working and it hit it with zealous conviction, giving it first strike to save my life. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, son. Oh, little doggy. Interesting. So we got Battlefield Forge, and we have a Sundown Pass, and a beautiful, a beautiful plains by Sergei Glushikov. So the thing is, this is always going to kill their worst creature. And if we play Trespasser next turn, we get to eat something, so... 
What are you gonna do? Wait, what? Oh my god, did they just what did they do? What does this do? Oh, they just made a power stone? That's fine. Little doggy. Oh, little doggy. Are they running one of those decks where they like sacrifice their thing or rip? What is this thing? This is the dragon. This guy's pretty good. I liked that card. Is it shielded here? I think so, right? Sure. Oh. Oh. No. Wait, this is a second enchantment? Holy crap. Oh, you're an enchantment. That's really sad. What? Why are you an enchantment? Bro. Please. Yeah, this this dog really ruins it. That's hilarious. I think we still do it. Because the alternative is like, we're, they're losing this and they're losing... If this is the enchantment, then this is the creature. And then they have no, no creatures. Oh, it was not. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, wow. Does Vraska make it not an enchantment? Mm. It loses all other card types and abilities, yeah. So, I guess so. I feel like I'm going to win this raise. Oh, well, less so now, I guess, but... Wow, this is a, this is a dragon right here. Oh. Is that good? Yes. Because it wins us the game, right? <laughs> they sack one? Oh my god. How even, dude. Uh, it doesn't matter. Oh my god. Rob, this card, dude. Why is it so good? Duress actually seems good. They have Destroy Evil, Ossification, Dragon Wing Glider you can hit with Duress, which is kind of cool. Excavation Explosion, which is kind of weird. Okay. Again, like, this is aggressive enough where I'm just taking out that. I'm taking out the two Vraskas. I'm going to bring in... None of those creatures are artifact creatures. Bring in the Duress. Feel good about it. Uh, cut down. Do you do anything? Grasp seems okay. Definitely not cutting invoke. It deals with enchantments, which is pretty pretty bonkers. That's true. Once you put those four bla black pips on the card, it's like, way, whoa, that's a lot of black pips. I think this is okay. Vraska does seem too slow. Like, I, when I cast Vraska and then I kill one of your creatures, it still kind of ramps you, which is a little scary in this format. I like the old Vraska where I killed your creature, enchantment, or artifact, and it gave me the, the treasure. Uh, destroy an artifact, creature, enchantment, choose a colorless, create a colorless treasure token. Yeah. That was, those were the days. Oh, this is a mull. That's a keep. That's a snapperino. Um, I'm actually going to put Taka Numa back. The odds of us casting it is low, and if we draw another one, I don't want to be in an awkward situation. It's called Swamps. It, call, it costs four Swamps and one Gray. That's good to know. I appreciate... I always appreciate magic uh, information like that. Because sometimes you you don't know, you know? What is it called? I don't know. Hmm. 
Double invoke, huh? <laughs> well, see you later. All right, this is this is gold. So we get to kill their first thing with Shieldred's Edict. Oh, we don't. That's sad. But it's also fine, I guess. Oh, that's interesting. Let's duress you. Take your gold glider that you were going to play next turn. <laughs> Actually, if you play this, we just make them sacrifice the creature, right? Destroy a creature with uh, toughness four or greater or destroy an enchantment. Um, I think it's destroy evil. Yeah, we beat ossification and I don't care about this. They also don't have the, the mana for that, so, you know. And if they hit a land, like, cool, then they get to play it and we get to kill it, so. I, I feel like we're way ahead. If we can hit one land in the next, like, two turns. They discarded a land, and then they played a land. Why didn't you... Wait, why didn't you... But you could have played this land and then just played this guy. I'm so confused. Big skits for two. Sounds good. I'll I'll block one. No? You don't want me to do that? You don't want me to block one? I think we're doing good. Do we want to attack into these guys? No, I guess not. I want them to use their ossification on our guy. Attack for four. And then we get to go invoke number two. Oh, just this guy, huh? Fascinating. Okay. Yes. Excellent. So we just have go for the throat for this gentleman. Oh, a deck for me to play tomorrow, huh? That's exciting. It's a mid zero. Do you want to trade? Does Does Papa want to take a little trade? Oh, they do want to trade. Okay. So now they're going to ossification. We're going to take four, and then we're going to invoke to get rid of their board. How's that sound? Pretty good. I thought so too. Oh no, not ossification. Unless their last card is the spirit dog, but I guess we just kill it with Thran Spider. We each get a token, a power stone token? Wow, that's good. Um, okay, so now we're gonna go for the, this guy, because we can, and then their spider dies next turn. I don't think we can use this for anything, to be honest, but... Whatever. I feel like we're doing well. I'm no expert, but... We also get to keep up... Oh, we just get to play Tenacious Underdog here, right? Rob, I'm glad you stayed up for this, bro. Because I feel like this deck... Did us, did us proud tonight. What is this, nine? And it's not. We got any creatures in here? Yeah, we do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
They have no cards. Man, they are really... Yeah, this, this game's over. Oh yeah, make my make my graveyard glutton larger. Ooh, that was that was beautiful. That was a beautiful four-one with the deck Rob and I put together just this afternoon. That's satisfying, man. So, final thoughts. Let's give me my prize. Look at that. I I I profited 50, 50 gems in two packs. That's really low. Two packs seems really low. What do we get here? Junk? Sounds good. Um, okay, so final thoughts. I would say Phyrexian Arena can probably go down to two. I feel like there's a lot of bad matchups for it, even though it's a super powerful card. Invoke Despair was easily MVP. <laughs> I can't even imagine this deck if Meat Hook Massacre was not banned. Um, Vraska is probably a card you can either cut or just go down to one. I'm not sure. The problem is, like, her negative nine... Like, you, you want to activate it on ten so that you still have a turn to, like, proliferate. Because otherwise you have no way to get that that final poison counter. Um, so I would definitely cut one Vraska. I would also cut one Phyrexian Arena. And then we can probably add a uh, fifth Invoke. I think that would be super helpful. Um, yeah, honestly, I might even play another Shieldred. But really, any I think I think go for the throat um, would also be a fine addition as well. I think it's a very strong card in this meta. Um, but yeah, otherwise I'm pretty satisfied with the deck. I think our sideboard is very good. The duresses were handy. Parasitic grasps were good for all the aggressive matchups. Gix's command also absolute bomb. Like these two five drops are just so good. Uh, cut down we didn't see a ton of. Zenith Chronicler, Chronicler has potential. I did like having the extra soul transfer because it's nice just having a card that um, deals with creatures. However, if the second mode is never an option, like if you're never going to have both because you don't have an enchantment and an artifact, which we tried to kind of like hope that would happen with Phyrexian Flesh Gorger and Phyrexian Arena, um, Hero's Downfall just might be better, to be honest. It, having an instant speed is just really strong. Um, so I could actually see switching. Every time I play Soul Transfer, I'm underwhelmed by it. I had it in my cube as well. And then I realized you're never in a situation where you can cast both. Um, and then just returning a creature, we have so many ways to do that already between Gix's Command and Black Sun's Twilight. That like, that's never really been a super big deal. So I would, I mean, I would even cut Soul Transfer and add two heroes downfalls for like one Vraska. And, uh, yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think. Really, really thought this deck was sweet. Um, super fun to play. Uh, felt very strong with the, with the combination of all the life gain from Flesh Gorger and Trespasser and Gix's command with life, with the lifelink. Um, so it, it kind of balanced out the, like, and, and also Shieldered. <laughs> I guess that's a card, too. So it kind of balanced out all the damage we took, uh, from things like the Blitz on Tenacious Underdog or... You know, I want to say <laughs> the Phyrexian Arena, but I don't think we cast a Phyrexian Arena once. So thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate you. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you next time.